Hi, my name's John. I'd like to thank everybody who's commented on the tool made in the last video. The tool was for finding the punch for finding the centre of a bit of flat stock. Lots of people have caught with different ideas, how to modify it and how to make it more useful. And one use it has got, you can use it as a scraper, so you can scrape a line like that down the centre. You go that way and scrape that way as well. You can see both lines converge on top of each other, which proves how accurate the tool is. What I intend doing, I'm going to drill into that hole in the centre of there and the centre of there, which will enable us to, as well as find the centre, we'll be able to find quarter and three quarters of the way across. So we'll be able to divide it into four pieces. So basically, this video. It'll be about remounting this back in the vise on the miller machine, accurately finding that hole again, and then marking out and drilling and reaming two more holes, one there and one there. They were inch and a half apart, so the centre of that will be 0.75 of an inch, 750 thou. The last thing I've done in the mill, we use the chamfer tool to chamfer the edges on the block. I'm going to take that out of there. Right, what we need to do, we need to accurately locate that hole again in the vise. I'll put that till the two go made parallels in again. Hit it up. Right, I'm going to take this collet out of here and put an 8mm collet in, which is the same size as those pins. So we've got an 8mm collet with another 8mm pin. I'm using a collet instead of a chuck because as much that's less run out, there's no run out at all. I'll start it up. You can see how accurate it's running. You can't see it's running, that's how accurate it actually is. Right, the first thing I'm going to do is get it somewhere near by eye. The most important one again is back and forward that way. To get it lined up that way, I just loosen it off in the vise and it'll line itself up, but I must line it up spot on. On the Y axis. You tweak it around, move it slightly, and you'll feel it. That's good there. So what we're going to do now, we'll loosen our vise off. Right, loosen the vise off. That goes in there nice and free. Bastard. That goes in there nice and free. Tighten our vise up. And it's still nice and free. We'll lock off the Y axis as a screw right there that locks it off. Take this out and put a drill chuck back in. Lock my spindle up. Always make sure your, your tool's clean before you put it back in the socket. Right, 
want to send Adriel in there. Right, centre drill. So we need to go 750 thou either side of that hole. Seven fifty. Right, seven fifty. We'll lock off the table so it can't move. It's actually moved a little as you nip it up off and do a couple of thawai that way. Or a couple of tenths rather. Seven fifty, seven fifty spot on. You look at it; looks like it's in the middle. The centre of drill's ambition in life is it's a snap off of the wall. I think it was torn from. Tom Lippen from Ox Tools asked what sort of brush I use for the oil. I think I touch up brushes, I got a, I got a lot of them given. Just a plastic handle with some soft bristles in the end. Ideal. The oil I use, cutting oil I use, that's basically cheap engine oil, mixed 50 50 with paraffin or kerosene. Works great. Right, so we've got a centre drill mark in, I'll get a pilot drill. A 7.9mm drill and then the reamer. Then we've got a pair of drill, 5mm. That's our reamer, 8mm reamer. That's a parallel shank one. I've also got a taper shank one. It lives in this little plastic box with a 7.9mm drill, which is used purely simply for this reamer. It'll go straight through with the, the 7.9 will it gives a bit of an easier life if we go up in stages. Good and nice. It's nice stuff to machine this case steel. Finish our reamer and our drills, give them a quick, a quick clean, a wipe. That's one good thing about using the, the cutting oil I use. I have no problems at all with rust. The drill and reamer live in the same box, put away, ready for use the next time. Right, I've deburred the holes. All I use, I've got a cordless drill with a counter sink in it. It's in there all the time, I use it for deburring all the time. Right, so now we've got three evenly spaced holes, centre, so we can put a pot mark in the centre, 
quarter of the way across, or three quarters of the way across. We're going to do it again up here and join the lines up with a ruler and a scraper and you divide that into four. If there's anything you've seen in my shop you'd like us to cover or talk about, just ask us, post a comment, I'll do it for you. Anyway, thanks for watching. Take three. Hi, I'd like to thank Bollocks. Bollocks. I sent that to the level no ends on. I've used it before.